Cause now we just see everything we believe Hey everyone, this is DPG here and today we got something that's absolutely... What's the word I'm looking for? Type of food that's for emergencies. So if you like camping, you go camping and you're one of those people that like, oh, I'm not gonna bring any food because it'll spoil. Because I'm gonna go hunting for myself, get my own fish, get my own deer, get my own squirrel. Well, this, my ladies and gentlemen, is for you. I got really bored. I was walking around Walmart. I went by to check the flashlights real quick and they had these things called Mountain House. Mountain House has a brand of uh, food. A type of... Uh, basically, it's, it's free dried food. It's basically like a... Another version of an MRE. It's good ghost. Like it's food ready to go. Just put a little hot water in it, and there you and give it a couple minutes. Let's soak, and there you go. You got food ready to go. It promotes itself saying one serving. It's actually biscuits and gravy I got because I had a craving for biscuits and gravy during that time. That's why I grabbed it. It's five freaking dollars. Now for what it's for, yeah, it's a great idea. Go camping. Just have one of these just in case you get hungry and you don't have food. But you do have to boil water, and you don't have anything really to boil water unless you get, um, you bring something in order to do that. I know some places you could, like, uh, buy something separate, heat it, like, grab it like this, throw it in something, and then they heat boil water like that without setting a fire. Or get MRE, and usually they do have some kind of stuff like that that will allow you to boil water like that. But anyways, you would still have to boil water in order to cook this, so you, if anything, bring a pan, wood, start a fire. But at least you're gonna have at least food for this. Calorie-wise, it's, it's not a lot, but we're talking about something that's gonna be... I read the ingredients. I have no idea what some of these are. Let's first off, the biscuits. It has some flour, wheat flour, malted barley, and basically everything you see in, you know, biscuits and flour. But here's the thing, Chardonnay, palm oil, mono and deglycerides, polar sorbate, 60. It's just, I, I don't even know what's sodium acid, pyrophosphate. I mean, this is probably has to do a lot, a lot of stuff that has to do with preservatives, a lot of preservatives. This is not something you eat on a daily basis or even something you eat once a week, once a month, maybe once a year when you're camping and you have a, go on a long extension of time and you need food. Honestly, it's probably cheaper to just get MRAs. This was $5. I'm pretty sure you could get MRA for about $10. And not only that, you get more stuff in those MRAs. The thing only is 310 calories, 14 grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, only 8 grams of protein. Okay, imagine a biscuit. You, cr you cook it, you crumble up, you put it in here. Get the packets of gravy for biscuits and gravy, put it into a little cup, mix it up, make sure it's nice and warm, you put it in the microwave, boom, put it in here nice and hot. Get your pieces of, what is it, pork patty, Throw it in here, let it mix up, and there you go. This shit was watery as hell. And, and it said two, three, fourths of a cup. I would have done a, maybe a half a cup or something. Because it was waterier in hell. It also said, hey, let, uh, let it sit for like uh, 10 minutes. I did. Still water in hell. So, yeah, when you're camping, go with something like this. I, I, I've been a man who says bring food just in case in camping. I think that's a very logical thing when camping. Protein bars, trail mix, uh, anything that's not gonna perish that fast. And don't bring anything that's gonna cause refrigeration or need refrigeration because you wanna go hunting like fish. Get your own fish, you eat it right there. You don't put it in a, the ground and hopefully it's gonna survive. No. And if you really want to grab one of these, they're really risque. Nonetheless, oh god, there's even like vegetable protein, soy flour, and salt in the patty. Oh god, this thing is just filled with salt and disgusting preservatives. Again, this thing was sold to now. 600 milligrams of fucking salt. Why the hell would you want to eat this on a daily basis? Yes, Bethany, yeah, my cat's in here. So, it is what it is. Go ahead if you want to try it. If you want to get that delicious salt, get that type 2 diabetes going on, oh, right on ahead, go for it. If you want to get the delicious preservers in you, psh, man, you don't need that kidney. You want that um, substitute of real biscuits and gravy, psh, who needs real biscuits and gravy? You got this, and 
and this is more expensive, and this is ready to go. Just make sure I have hot water. But yeah, I'm a little bit tired right now, but I at least want to get one of these out again. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I just saw a Walmart, grabbed it, tried it. It's alright. It gets straight to the point. It has the flavor of it. I wouldn't put my top three best business engraving I've ever tried in my life, but I would say I tried it. It's a thing that people do, and it's actually an emergency kind of thing. Besides that, y'all have a good day. Rest up. Oh, wait, let me check the expiration. Best by October 2047. This thing is good for 40 years! Ah! Oh, it's definitely like I've already. Have a good day. Oh.